Hi everyone, this is Isadora from 3 Magna. The newest course I've actually been working on has actually been High Vibration Crystals. This is one of the ones that I've actually only just started teaching. I had my first class in it yesterday. It was an amazing success, so I was very happy. Uh, so I'm going to be using this video to give you a quick introduction into the High Vibration Crystals, as well as then giving you an idea of what we'll be covering in the course. And hopefully I will see you all either in video or physical form sometime to actually finish it off. So high vibration crystals are actually those which have a greater vibrational rate than ordinary crystals. In my proximity crystal healing classes, I actually talk about the way that crystals work and the current theories on why they do what they do. So the idea is that all crystals vibrate as well as parts of the body and bits and pieces like that. And this is kind of a universal concept. It's not very new. There has always been the idea of vibrations being the ether that is between all the physical particles and everything like that. So it is thought that when crystals do vibrate at a certain level, we bring them close to us and it helps to normalize out our own vibrations, kind of like you would use a tuning fork. High vibration crystals do it much, like vibrate at a much faster and a much higher rate. So you actually see the wavelength and it's a lot faster and a lot higher than a normal one. So it's thought that these crystals really help to, for instance, connect with other states of being, connect with other planes of existence, if you've ever studied the seven planes of existence and other bits and pieces like that. So connection to angelic beings and everything it tends to be like a, a sort of grouping for these crystals. So some of the crystals I cover in this class include scolocyte. Now this is a natural piece of scolocyte and I actually wear a piece every day. I adore it as a crystal because I find it incredibly useful. And so this is a very delicate specimen that comes from India and as a result it's very hard to tumble so it's not often that you find tumbles in this stone. And it grows in these gorgeous like sprays. So it's a zeolite as well, I can give you that information, but all the rest you'll have to come and find me. Uh, one of the others I cover is also Larimar. So this was a stone that was prophesized by Edgar Casey, and I talk about this one so much because I absolutely adore Larimar. I find it incredible. And so Edgar Casey prophesized that it would appear on this beach at this one time, and it did. The guy that found it, unfortunately, has remained not as famous as Edgar Casey, um, but he had a daughter, Larissa. And he also, so he named it Larissa for Lar for Larissa and Mara for the sea. So Larima. It looks like dappled water on a tropical island. This is one of the reasons why I love it so much. So once again, if you want more information, y'all have to find me. The third one, well, not the third one. This is actually like way on in the course. This really, the course notes are like this big pages upon pages of notes. It takes about two hours, so it will be a long video. Anyway, the next one is a uh, Lemurian seed crystal. So these are like these are sorry, not prophecy, maybe, uh, are thought to be a connection to the ancient civilization of Lemuria. And so their thoughts contain a lot of information and when we actually go into the course we talk about Marcel Vogel and Lemuria together. Bet you never thought that would happen. Um, so yeah, this is a really gorgeous special variety of quartz and it's all beautiful. Actually, that's one of my private pieces and I actually find that I will be sleeping with it on my bedside table or something and will wake up in the night holding it and I have no idea why, but somehow I've been using it. So it's one of those ones that tends to be a bit of a life changer crazy crystal. One of the others that I am covering is actually because it is so incredibly rare that I just have to. Because it's amazing. This is Ahuite. Now, what you might be going is like, yo, Izzy, 
that looks like an ordinary chunk of quartz. Kinda. Because Ahuite is literally the itty bitty blue that you can see in some areas of this. I don't know how well it's going to show up. Maybe I'll try like putting it more into the light. But there is itty bitty blue pieces in it. Anyway, y'all might have to try and take my word for it. I'll take a glamour shot of this later on anyway. Um, and Ahuite is literally one of the most rare stones that we've got in the world. It occurs in like tiny little bits in quartz. As a result, it's quite expensive. It's quite hard to come by. So I have to include it in my course, especially for the people that come in in person, because a lot of people might not even touch Ahuite in their life. So I think it's really awesome to have it on. So that's the end of my little itty bitty introduction. Hopefully you all got a little bit out of it. And if you are interested in doing the course in person or online, I'm going to be setting up a bit, few bits and pieces of that soon. But feel free to contact me in the meantime. I have a variety of ways. You can get me on YouTube, obviously. You can get me on Facebook under 3 Marigna and also email me. I will include all of that in the comments. I know, I'm being YouTube tragic right now. Sorry. Thank you very much for listening anyway, and I will talk to you all later.